Haiti, the Caribbean country which has been making news for the past few days, just saw its sitting president being assassinated. Haiti was declared a free sovereign state in 1804. Naturally, it is an old country, much older for instance than China in its present form. Haiti's first century of independence was characterized by political instability, ostracism by the international community and the payment of a crippling debt to France. From 1915 to 1934, Haiti was occupied by the United States of America. Haiti is a founding member of the United Nations, Organization of American States, Association of Caribbean States, and the International Francophony Organization. It is also a member of the International Monetary Fund, the World Trade Organization, and the community of Latin American and Caribbean states. Haiti knows what it feels like to have been occupied by a foreign power. It knows what it feels like to be ostracized and treated as an untouchable state. It knows the pain of international isolation, which is why perhaps it is among the 15 countries which officially recognize Taiwan as a free, sovereign and independent country. Supporting Taiwan, however, can be a life-threatening risk in the world of 2021. One country has gone rogue, and anyone supporting Taiwan seems to have a target on their back. Hi, and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Shubhangi, and in this video, I will tell you why you must be extremely brave to support Taiwan. It's a risk which can have devastating consequences. Let's begin. Haitian President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated in an attack on his private residence and his death was announced on Wednesday. The assassination of a sitting president and a failed attempt to take the life of his wife made immediate global headlines. Moïse, the 53-year-old president, had been ruling by decree for more than two years after the country failed to hold elections, which led to the Haitian parliament being dissolved. Within Haiti, gang violence has been spiking for quite some time now. Additionally, inflation has been spiraling with food and fuel becoming scarcer in a country where 60% of the population makes less than $2 a day. Conventional wisdom would suggest that the slain Haitian president was probably assassinated by one of the many armed groups that have come to exist in the Caribbean nation. But there could be more to it. It must be investigated whether the president of Haiti was assassinated as part of a well-thought-out plot to alter Haiti's geopolitical and foreign policy outlook. We also think that the assassination of Jovenel Moïse was a stringent message by a foreign power to Haiti that their foreign policy outlook is not appreciated. And there is one major suspect. Just to put things in context, the Caribbean country of Haiti is one of Taiwan's 15 diplomatic allies. Meanwhile, the assassination of Haiti's president comes a day after Haitian ambassador Rudy Stanley Penn met Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen. Welcoming Penn on behalf of the Taiwanese government and people, Tsai pointed out that Haiti and Taiwan had marked 65 years as diplomatic allies in April. She noted that the cooperation between Taipei and Port-au-Prince has spanned the sectors of medicine, public health, education and agriculture, adding that cooperation on infrastructure projects has also yielded many results. Last year, late President Jovenel Moïse had called on the United Nations to allow Taiwan more international participation, being the free and sovereign country that it is. He made his case heard during his address to the 75th UN General Assembly. Now, we all know which country has a deep grudge for all foreign powers maintaining ties with Taiwan, don't we? Intriguingly, two days after the assassination of Haiti and President Jovenel Moïse, 11 armed suspects tried to break into the Taiwanese embassy in Port-au-Prince. The suspects attempted to break into the embassy while Taiwanese diplomats were working from home. The embassy security guards alerted the police regarding criminal trespass. Subsequently, the Taiwanese police allowed Haitian police to enter its premises, after which the assassination suspects were arrested. 
Now, why would 11 armed suspects just two days after the assassination of Haiti's president break into the Taiwanese embassy in the Caribbean nation's capital? Was Taiwan being falsely incriminated? Was human evidence being placed inside the Taiwanese embassy which could connect the assailants to Taiwan? Haiti is one of just 15 official diplomatic allies that Taiwan has. As such, why would Taiwan assassinate its president? Surely it was not Taiwan. Therefore, the question becomes, was a certain foreign power trying to make the world believe that the Haitian president was assassinated at the behest of Taiwan? Now who could this Taiwan-haunting foreign power be? Any guesses? We'll leave that to you. Meanwhile, Haiti, the poorest country in the Americas, now has no president or working parliament and two men claiming to be in charge as prime minister. Now, here is some additional information. China, brutalized by the CCP regime, has been trying to lure Haiti for a long time now, unsuccessfully so. In 2019, China tried to provide free assistance, interest-free loans and concessional loans to Haiti. The condition? Haiti would have to uphold the One China Principle, which means it would have to sever all ties with Taiwan. If Haiti would just have broken ties with Taiwan, China was ready to establish official diplomatic relations with it and improve cooperation in several areas including politics, trade, public hygiene and education. China has been trying to convince Haiti for a long time to discard Taiwan and hop on to the bandwagon of countries which follow the One China policy. Haiti, however, has been steadfast in its support to Taiwan and has resolutely continued calling on the world community to recognize Taiwan and allow its participation world over. So, a question is, was the Haitian president taken away for advancing the cause of Taiwan globally?